Now it's time for our guest today. Rima Sampat is an Indian American actress known for her roles in NBC's Shades of Blue and Netflix's Jessica Jones. She can currently be found, however, as Shuri Tombal, the first South Asian inmate on Orange is a New Black. Please put your hands together for Rima Sampat. Hi, thanks for coming. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Welcome, Rima. Hi. Nice to see you. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Thanks good. Are you good at us. social media? I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, nowadays, you have to be. It's a journey. To survive. It's a real. Yeah. But I was checking out your Instagram, and it was really fun because you have all these really fun photos on the set of Orders of the New Black. Mm -hmm. um, so, what was that experience like for you? Because it's such a franchise now, and it's yeah. like so iconic. Such a big deal. I actually like didn't think it would be such a big deal, um, but it is. It was. It was amazing for a couple of reasons. Um, the first was I was just so floored by how many women work on that show, mm -hmm. not just on the cast, but um, the the producers, the writers, directors. It, they were all women, mm -hmm. and um, they're like pioneers. You know, the show is a pioneer, Genji, and creating the show for women um, who have are all different shapes and sizes mm -hmm. and colors. It was it was an honor to work on something like that. And then, you know, just getting to play a character like Shruti <laughs> um, isn't very common. You don't get to be an Indian inmate mm -hmm. all the time who's vile and um, <laughs> despicable. Um, so that was that was really fun for me. And um, I was pregnant while I was filming oh, wow. it. So my little child, you know, um, was a part of that as well. <laughs> Your <laughs> so, child's been in a prison. Basically. Yeah. And, you know, I got to say some vulgar things with <laughs> so her. So can they me. put that on their IMDb page? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She will be credited as well. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good the costumes that. made it pretty easy, though, because it's like the loose and then the big jacket. You would, Yeah. You wouldn't even know the whole, I mean, six months of filming and you wow. could never, you can't tell. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Over that period, what were some of your favorite moments filming and working on Orange is the New Black? My favorite moments, I think, is when we were all together. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a lot of kickball mm -hmm. on the show. And, um, you know, there were, it was really long hours, but we, we were a team. You know, it was kind of metaphoric, but we, we got to work together and, um, and actually play kickball and try to win. <laughs> so that was, that was actually really fun. And I could feel that emotion when I was watching. Yeah. They're really playing. Yeah. We were and, really playing. and this season is the first season they, they leave Lynchfield, so they're in a whole new place. So was it yeah. extra exciting being a part of this iconic show as they kind of reset the, the world a little bit? Yeah, yeah, because I think we were all discovering it together, right? Like the original cast and mm -hmm. the new cast. Mm -hmm. um, and even the writers and directors and producers, we were all kind of like, how do we navigate this new prison with these right. new characters. So yeah, that was fun. Yeah, and season seven is already confirmed. Yeah. So are you going to be a part of that? Well, see. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully, crowned. yeah, yeah. But um, it, is, it is an iconic show. And I think it's the longest um, original content that Netflix mm -hmm. has had. Yes. So yeah. it's an honor. Yeah. yeah. And you're also working on a new pilot right now. Yeah. It's called uh, Serena and Mel. Um, it's about two South Asian women who are kind of navigating being adults in New York City, you know, kind of like Sex in the City meets Broad City. Um, and it's great because the whole cast is South Asian, mm -hmm. um, which huh. we're working on, you know, yeah. currently. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I play a character named Sheila who's just blunt, straight to the point. No nonsense. Sheila? Inappropriate. Per perfect name for yeah. that character. Yeah. Everyone needs a Sheila in their uh -huh. life. I'll just say that. Sheila. Yeah, yeah. And it, you, you, know, you mentioned this show is about Indian American women, and you're the first Indian American actress on Orange is the New Black. I, yeah, the first inmate. Inmate, South yeah. Asian inmate, yeah, yeah. on the show. So tell me about that and what it means for you to be kind of a, a push in this representation. It's been great. I mean, um, so many Indian, Pakistani, Middle Eastern girls have come up to me and been so excited and honored that they can see someone who looks like them play a badass yeah. character, you know, not just a doctor, mm -hmm. lawyer. Um, I think that's been the biggest um, exciting thing to about this character. Yeah. yeah, to just, one of the writers, she's Indian on the show, and she, we were talking about it, and she's like, dude, we can be bad girls mm -hmm. too, yeah. you know? like. I know Indian girls who've gone to jail. Yeah. <laughs> so like let's let's write about it, you know, let's show it. Yeah. That's so important. It's like I, I every show has like that role where you're just like, why do they always like pigeonhole? And it's like yeah. it must be so fun for you to just get to explore. Totally, totally. I got to play around and you know, 
talk about blowjob and, you know, <laughs> things that um, you wouldn't get to normally do as an Indian girl. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Those are the strides that uh, the industry is attempting to make mm -hmm. in uh, representation and diversity, I feel is particularly visible right now in this moment with um, recently the premiere of Crazy Rich Asians, mm -hmm. okay. which has had a yeah. huge one positive yeah, made so reception. Much money. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, I think it must feel great to be a part of this moment in time. It, I feel so lucky to be pursuing this um, job in this moment in time. You know, we're excited about it. We're excited that, you know, we're not just secondary or tertiary characters anymore that are mm -hmm. going to push your story along. Like, we are the story now. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm pretty confident that there's going to be more coming after yeah. after something like this. Absolutely. Thank God. Yeah. yeah that right. movie was we, awesome. Yeah. yeah. We had um, Jenny Han on recently mm -hmm. who just had a film um, premiere on Netflix. Uh, all the Boys all the, I Loved Before. Yeah, yeah. Letters yeah. to All the Boys yeah. I Loved yeah. Before. Yeah. Right. And uh, also um, an Asian protagonist. Mm -hmm. And um, I just think it's great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because at the end of the day, we're just normal people. Like, right. sure, like, our cultural backgrounds influence maybe some decisions we make and whatnot. But, I mean... We all have the same issues. Absolutely. Yeah. So what made you want to get into acting? I'm always curious over that question. It is interesting, yeah. isn't it? Um, you know, some of it can be selfish at times <laughs> because you feel so good while you're acting, like yeah. when you kill a scene or something. It's yeah. so fulfilling. Um, but I think for me, representing my people and where I come from mm -hmm. is, is huge right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I, just the, the outpour of love that's come in and girls who are like, now feel like they can do it mm -hmm. because they see me doing it. Right. That's that's awesome. Yeah. And is it is it true that you studied at UCB? You did some improv. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. When I moved here, I did. Yeah. I did. That's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how people do that. How far did you get in the yeah. improv ranks? I got to the, like the third. Oh, I'm well, I almost finished. Okay. And then I was just like, I had too much anxiety. <laughs> I couldn't. I'd rather just improv my own right. way. I'm right. about to start uh, 301 oh, next you are. month. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah, I'm it excited is, for it. But it's terrifying. We went to his show last month and I had that same feeling. I was like, I don't know how people do this. I was so anxious even watching it. Yeah. I mean, I think like the people who do it naturally are just really good at it. Yeah. I can never figure out the game. I'm like, yeah. how do you figure out the game <laughs> in yeah. this? Shannon, you were on the Herald team, right? Yeah. Oh, the wow. game is just the first unusual thing that makes the crowd laugh. I know, but like, yeah. how do you, they're always laughing. Shannon's like, that's all. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's, so, it's so much easier yeah. than we, we just like use, like let our anxiety take over. But it's usually the right. simplest thing in the scene. It's I so know, silly. I overcomplicate The it. hard part is watching really unfunny people. Play. <laughs> yes. yes. Which was probably not. That's what's yeah. particularly cringe right? you know? That's yeah. why we were all scared of the show. We were like, what's Lucas going to be like? <laughs> yeah. we were sure. It was great. He was like the biggest laugh in the room. And we were like, whew, we can yeah. actually yeah. support him. It doesn't need to be awkward. Out exactly. Yeah, it would have been an awkward Monday. Exactly thing when, and I wonder if it's actually the same for actors, but for stand-ups at least, Shannon and I are both comedians, and you're backstage and you meet a comedian before a show and you like them, you're always curious how they're going to be on stage so you can really evaluate whether or not you like them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even uh, in class, like, you don't want to be that one person. The bad one. just like... Right. You're like, I don't want to be like that. Yeah, so when no one steps nervous. out and you you like yeah. initiate a scene and you're like, well, I'm out here by myself. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm the bad one. Yeah. 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 It's the worst yeah. feeling in the world. Um, it is. So, but do you so do you like doing mostly drama? But you also kind of do comedy. You just a bit of both. Yeah, a bit of both. My my comedic skills are just. Um, me, yeah. you know, so I don't, I, I'm not like a sitcom -y, like mm -hmm. big person, but um, Orange is like a great totally. example yeah. of drama and comedy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it's so well written. So well written. I don't know how they do yeah. that. It's so amazing. So many storylines and it all comes together at the end. It's and great. like you said, it really just like set the standard for casting yeah. and storylines yeah. and things that they're tackling. For and sure. It's something I'm sure you're going to look back and be like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to be that. so proud of it for yeah. sure. And like the writers are like, moms, you know, like <laughs> writing this crass shit. It's like awesome. I love it. Yeah. On a different note, um, I see on a lot of your content that you happen to be very good friends with Anthony from mm. Queer Eye. Yeah, yeah. who's that? Uh, <laughs> Who? I'm curious, um, it, you know, is he actually a good cook? Or, uh, <laughs> yeah, 
terrible. He's terrible. Um, no, he's an amazing cook. Yeah, yeah I knew I, I knew him before he was even on the show, and um, he makes me dinners all the time. When That's I was, so cool. Yeah, I'm. I feel so lucky and spoiled. When I was yeah. pregnant, he would make me pots of like turkey chili and Aww. like send me home in an Uber with it. I love that. that. He, so he's nice. actually gonna come on our show, I think, in September. Yeah, I know, yes. I know. With Tan. Yeah, We're really excited for great. that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. He's a, yeah, he's a good guy. And before we go, I want to know a little bit about your nonprofit, Save a Gato. What is that? I love that name. Yeah. Um, it's a nonprofit in Old San Juan, Puerto Rico. Um, and we basically trap, neuter, and release the cats of Old San Juan. Aww. There's a huge overpopulation of cats there. People don't spay and neuter them. So we, we trap them, we, we spay them, and we get them adopted. And we move around like 500 cats a year. Whoa. Yeah. And there's still so many more coming. So... Spay and neuter your pets. Yeah, yeah, that's very needed. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Shannon had like upwards of 20 cats growing up in Puerto Rico. Yeah, I grew up in Bayamón. Oh my and God. I had like 32 cats at once was the highest number, but in general, like I had hundreds of cats. Huh. Yeah, oh, you so I needed, we needed to collaborate. Because <laughs> yeah, totally. I was a child and I was like, why can't we just stop? And my parents uh. were like, they're kitten machines. And I was like, I think there's a way to stop them from having more kittens. You know, if you were there, if you could have helped us. Yeah, well, I have five cats. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Right we flew them up to New York. What are their names? Um, Fatty, Twist, Yuka, Chiquita, and Persepolis. Oh, oh, Persepolis. Oh, Persepolis. Wow. Wow. Do you yeah. think per, uh, like Fatty is jealous of Persepolis' uh, beautiful name? <laughs> <laughs> I, or is Fatty actually yeah, the cute one? Like I want the choice. Fatty's Fatty, the cute one. Fatty's the alpha. So oh, really? Oh, oh, Fatty. Oh, okay. My name's yeah. Fatty. I yeah. uh, feel like a mob boss. <laughs> mob boss. I oh, love God. that. He's oh, my God. Five. So do you like live in an apartment and the five cats and just like. Five cats, a baby, a husband. And me. Wow. That's, wow. The that's your sitcom. Yeah. That's a, I know. They, I, they, they, tell. Yeah. I know. You just said you're not a sitcom actress, but I don't know. I could be. We could yeah. write this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's you. an adventure. I see it happening. Well, Rima, yeah. thank you so much for thank joining us today. So much for having me. Thank you so much. And you can catch Rima Sam Pad in season six of Orange is a New Black, currently streaming on Netflix. That's all from us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same table. Yeah.